Hey you guys and welcome back to another lock tutorial and we're going to go ahead and attempt to do a fishtail braid. I do mean attempt. This is not the best fishtail braid that you will see on YouTube but if you're watching this tutorial that means you didn't have a clue how to do it so I'm already one step ahead of you so let's jump right into this shall we? So you want to start off with the braid method but instead of completing the braid you want to take the lock that's in the middle and wrap it around the other lock. So it's under, over, then under again. So we're just going to try it again okay. So we're going to take this lock from the other side and you always want to go from left to right. You never want to keep pulling from the same side okay. So you want to take this lock that's in the middle. You want to pull it in between those locks, take it under, wrap it over, and then bring it back under. Then you're going to secure it with the other locks. And you're just going to repeat those steps over again. So take a lock from the opposite side, take it over, and take it back under. As you guys can see, I'm taking it back under. Then I'm, I'm wrapping it around that secure lock and holding it in place. Simple enough, right? Right? No, wrong. Totally wrong. This has to be one of the hardest styles I've ever had to do. Seriously. I would recommend doing this style on medium length to long locks. You can do it on short locks as you can see, but by the time you hit the back of the locks, you don't even have a ponytail anymore. You got a paintbrush because this style takes a lot of length away from your locks. And you guys will see what I'm talking about towards the end of this video. But I'm going to slow it down one more time so you guys can get a better idea. So again, I'm gonna take a lock. You wanna take it over in between those secure locks, take it under one of those secure locks, wrap it over and back under. And you can kinda see the fish tailish braid forming. It's not a fishy fish, but yeah, it's almost like a fishtail braid, but not really. But luckily for me, practice makes perfect and I'm going to try this again on my daughter she has longer locks than everyone in the house so you know we're going to try this again on her but yes we're just going to keep doing those steps over and over and over again until you reach your end point which won't be much of an end point once you are done wrapping all your locks in this fishtail braid and if you are interested in doing this style on shorter locks, do not be afraid to use rubber bands because they will be your best friends. Trust me, because you're going to need them. So definitely grab them rubber bands because you do not want any of the locks to unravel because this is not a tight style at all. To be honest, it's very loose. So if you need rubber bands, don't be afraid to use them. our fishtail braid and as you can see little to no hang time so I will be securing this with a rubber band and I'm just going to throw his hair up into a ponytail I was going to try to add those extra locks but I'm saving myself the hassle we're just going to throw those extra locks into a ponytail and we're just going to work on the other side but this is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope it was helpful, at least somewhat. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for me. If you guys want to see another tutorial, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you guys have any more requests, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will be doing a detox because I know you guys see all that lint in my boy's locks. We're going to get rid of that. So we will be doing his first apple cider vinegar rinse. Woo, woo, woo. But you guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see that but until next time until we meet again until we're back on youtube watching another crazy video on my bye bye